Afghanistan's Kabul could become the first modern capital to run out of water within five years without immediate intervention, UNICEF projects. According to an April 2025 Mercy Corps report, Kabul's groundwater levels have plunged nearly 30 meters in the past decade, with water extraction exceeding natural recharge by 44 million cubic meters each year. Nearly half of the city's boreholes are already dry and up to 80% of Kabul's groundwater is deemed unsafe due to widespread contamination. The report cites climate crisis, long-term weak governance, and over-extraction as key drivers of the crisis. The report also highlights that conditions worsened during the 20-year U.S. invasion of Afghanistan, which forced more people to move to Kabul. And since 2021, with the Taliban's return to power, as authorities prioritize other urgent needs and face challenges maintaining pipelines, canals, and dams. The crisis has been exacerbated by the U.S. cutting over 80% of its U.S. aid funding in March 2025, slashing funds that were used for humanitarian programming across the country, including the Water, Sanitation and Hygiene Program and related projects in Kabul and surrounding areas. Without urgent action, Kabul's shrinking water supply could pose an existential threat to the city's roughly 6 million residents and force up to 3 million people to leave their homes.